first of all, let me thank y'all for coming out. Um, and I want to thank you for the public's patience. And I'm going to tell you why. Today, the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office is releasing information regarding the circumstances of McKeon Woods' arrest on Friday, September 29th, 2023, near Toledo Road and Powers Avenue. Since Friday, since Friday evening, cell phone uh, camera footage of this incident has been circulating on social media. The circulation of this cell phone camera footage has caused outrage amongst some in our community. Transparency, as I've said before, is the foundation on which the uh, trust is built and by which the police and the public partnership is cultivated. Transparency, as I've said before, is the foundation on which the uh, trust is built. Trust is built. I have vowed to be forward-facing and op 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 open with the public that we serve. Since my election, I told the public exactly what's going on within this agency. Accountability for officer wrongdoing is essential. However, equally essential is speaking up when our officers are wrong. Some of the cell phone camera footage that has been circulating since Friday does not comprehensively capture the circumstances surrounding Wood's arrests. Moreover, cameras can only capture what can be seen and heard. So much context and depth are absent from recorded footage because a, a camera simply cannot capture what is known to be what is known to the people depicted in it. On Saturday, I publicly stated that we were investigating the circumstances of Wood's arrests and the allegations of inappropriate use of force by involved detectives. Even with the investigation still pending, because it's now clear that some of the circulated cell phone camera footage has been intentionally altered to imply that one of the detectives kicked a handcuffed Woods, but this detective never kicked a handcuffed Woods. The only logical conclusion that can be drawn by the production of such altered video is that its creator or distributor had a personal agenda seeking to incite community rage against police officers, against police officers, against police officers. Okay, okay. I can't find it. Oh, stop right here. Stop I can't, right can't here. see nothing right I here. I see everything. Just stop right here. Okay. Shit. This one actually was really pinching. I ain't missed shit. I got it. All right, this is Jacksonville Yankees. I missed the beating up. That's crazy. They won't beat no more now. Now we're here. It's crazy. See me bleeding, I can't get no closer. I, I, I can't get no more out of them. They beat up. Can't get up. Oh my god. That's what happens. I, I got the stick in my way. Are you trying to block it? It's now clear that some of the circulated cell phone camera footage has been intentionally altered to imply that one of the detectives kicked a handcuffed Woods. The altered cell phone camera footage, which is circulated on social media, it depicts a detective kicking a handcuffed Woods. Body-worn camera footage, along with unedited versions of the cell phone camera footage on social media, both definitively evidence that the detective never kicked a handcuffed Woods. So it's pretty unbelievable, disheartening, to have to announce that social media is not reality. Its content is not fact-checked by any entity. Because of this mis misinformation campaign by the anti-police fringe, Scott Johnson, Channel 4. I was trying to understand what I saw as far as the manipulation. Did they move the person's foot closer to the body in the manipulated video? Is that what I was seeing? Yes. It's so it was shot, and what we tried to show you at the end, I don't know if we can get back to that still shot, but what we tried to show you at the end was the officer actually, um, his right leg, it looked like he was either stretching or he hurt it. So we did this for a couple of times, and then he turned around. When he turned around, he just did this, and it looks like the video was reversed to make it appear he had kicked the individual. Trying to block it. That ain't been reversed. Look, look, he's going to space, man. Mm -hmm. I can't give space, they stand in the way. I got the pole in the way. It's all up already, ain't it?
See the brother man blocking? See how he blocks? Action. Shall I move? move over there? No, I want you to leave. I'm ready to go now. You got it. Today at around 1.52 in the afternoon, the Sheriff's Office Communication Center received calls concerning gunshots in the area of Commonwealth and Division Street. Later, an officer observed a vehicle matching the description of a potential suspect vehicle from that incident. The officer attempted to contact the individuals in that vehicle, during which there was an exchange of gunfire. Fortunately, our officer was not struck by the gunfire at that incident. Investigators later recovered a handgun at that scene. The suspects then fled the area in the vehicle, resulting in a police vehicle pursuit. The pursuit ended at Bush Drive and Zoo Parkway, where the suspect vehicle continued straight through a T-intersection striking a civilian vehicle and then coming to rest in the wood line against the zoo fence line. The civilians in that vehicle that was struck. Officers then gave loud audible commands to surrender through police loudspeakers. The suspects did not comply. A decision was made to employ a canine into the vehicle. At least one suspect fired a weapon at the canine striking the dog. Five officers returned fire and extracted the canine to safety. 
A standoff ensued where one suspect surrendered by exiting the vehicle. He was transported to a local hospital to, for injuries related to the car crash. He was not struck by gunfire. SWAT officers later cleared the vehicle and determined two suspects in the vehicle to be deceased. A rifle was recovered in the vehicle. All right, the K-9 is currently out of surgery and is in stable condition. So I'm not going to confirm the name of the dog that was struck by gunfire in order to protect those under Marcy's law, as well as our other officers. Yeah, we received calls, uh, anonymous calls, about it in the area. We're still working through that. We don't know, don't know, don't know. We're still working through that. Thanks. Walk on first drive, walk on first. 
another video y'all thank y'all for watching check this out we're gonna look at this real quick and I want to show you what I'm talking about with the first shot so as the cops are running up on him this body cam was muted they muted this whole little section right here and I have another section right here that's identically the same it's matched up all the way and I got it muted so as we go through we can see the dog being sent into the car and right here is when a shot is fired right directly at the dog so you can see right there is when the shot was taken right there and it was muted out of the body cam how do I know that let's spread this back out some and let's unmute this channel and let's mute this one so you hear the shot now let me unmute this one so you'll know that the uh, audio is perfectly synced there you go so let's mute this one again right there that's the shot he took right there and you can see his gun go up and down that's the shot he took and the dog is right there that shot went boom right there so I believe this cop shot the dog alright so now let's look at the officer that ran in and fired the first shot what they did was come on Premier come on and he got some sense this is one time I have got to switch to uh, DaVinci Resolve at some point in time so when this officer run in let's mute the track below it let me just show you something that these two tracks are perfectly synced they're audio tracks from two different body cams this track is from an officer that's close by this officer they didn't bother redacting this they, they redacted two of them the one before and this one so let me let me mute this one see your hands okay 
Now let's unmute it and let's mute this one. It's the same track, same audio, they're perfectly synced. So you can hear the gunshot and, and I'll show you that. We'll zoom out. The first shot is right here. That's what they tried to hide right here. And they tried to hide it by blurring this whole screen out, by blurring the other section of body cam to where you couldn't see the gun, the muzzle. That is where I believe the dog took the first shot. It's from this officer standing, this officer that you're looking at right now with the machine gun. And the dog is right there. So he wants more, one more time, one more time, because they're saying that the suspect shot the dog, which is BS. No shots came from this car. That shot is from the machine gun. All of them are from the police. That you can tell by the by the uh, sound signature. So as you can see, they're perfectly lined up. All right. So let's rewind. Now remember, the dog's right here. So now, this officer that you're looking at now took the first shot. The, shot, the dog was shot three times, once in the rear, and they pulled some bullets from his um, from his neck um, in his hair. I don't know if any ballistics were run on those or not. But as you can see, let's go back. As you can see, let's mute this track. They, they muted this whole section to keep you from, anyone from knowing that that cop took that shot on that dog. No one in the car that I can see in this video, and I've analyzed this video, top to bottom, front to back, man. Slow, frame by frame. Frame by frame. No shots came from that car. You would see smoke in the in the window right here if that was true. Let's frame by frame through. The dog is in the car at this point. There's your first shot. unmute this so you can hear that first shot right there that's the gun directly there's nothing coming out of the car there's no smoke there's no bullets there's no one got shot now let's look at the the third segment that shows where the dog got the other two bullets all right so now let's look at where the dog got the other two bullets this is the audio you just heard this is the cop they didn't either forgot to redact that, that gunshot or um, they didn't know that the body cam existed who knows let's go up he's running hot he's hot man look at him he can't wait to shoot somebody look at him right there that's where the dog took the other two shots again they blurred the video they blurred they blurred everything in this body cam they're using Marcy's law to do it, that's what they say, but Marcy's law doesn't apply to police officers. So I'm kind of confused on, is it Marcy's law or are we just trying to protect some cops that just killed two innocent people that were just take two kids that were taking a joyride? There's no body cam of the weapons being found, by the way, or the, the claim that these individuals shot the police with a rifle. There's no body cam of any of that, no dash cam, no body cam, no nothing. So let's look one more time. Right here, bam, that's where the first shot happened. And that's that cop that gave that dog the first shot, right there. And that's where the dog took, right there. That's where he took the bullets. He shot right at that dog. That's the video breakdown, ladies and gentlemen. That's the video breakdown. They're trying to paint these individuals up as evil criminals um, without producing any evidence of such. As you just seen, there is a lot of issues here. A lot of issues. And these cops the one put these bullets into this dog. If I'm lying, then release the ballistics. Prove where the bullets came from. The dog put three shots and that's where they got them. I, again, from this, they here's what they did. They blurred all this this footage out for many reasons to keep anyone from knowing that they're the ones who shot the dog, that they just shot these two people in this vehicle, and they blurred it to keep to 
keep anyone from seeing that no one that the, the occupants of the vehicle didn't fire any shots you would see that you would see the smoke you would see all that they recovered a handgun allegedly allegedly they showed a picture of it anyway and a what looks to be like a little Uzi or something <laughs> Let's look at this one more time so we can look at the uh well frame by frame. There's the leash of the dog right here in case you uh missed that guys. Let me just aim that out for you right there. That's the leash. But he's being held by that leash by that by the canine officer. There's the shots ringing out. You see the you can see the smoke going forward. There's no smoke coming out of the car. There's another shot from his gun. You see the muzzle. That's what they were blurring out in the other video to keep you from seeing that side view because you would e see that easily. You can see his arm still jerk up when he took that first shot though. Yep. Let's see, there's another one. There's the dog right there. You can see the dog. I believe that may be where the dog got hit. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, Sheriff T.K. Waters and his little uh, goon outfit are saying that the suspect shot at them. There's no, there's no gunfire coming from that car at all. Zero. You would see it. You would see smoke plumes in there. And you would see it because it's dark in there, so the smoke would really stand out. But there is no smoke because there was no shots fired inside of that car. And there they go pulling the dog out. And you will not see anything. Let me, let me, let me brighten this up a little bit. We'll take some of the color out, so maybe. So there he is. He's pulling the dog out by the leash. Let me turn this down so it's not so annoying. It's a wonder this cop didn't get shot or any bullets didn't ricochet off of this car. And he pulls the dog out. At that at this point the dog's already shot three times. Then they proceed to finish unloading. Even though, even though no shots come out of that car. They got the dog out. And there's nothing there. There's nothing to see. There's no gunfire coming out of that car at all. Nothing. There's that first shot from his gun. Bam! Right there. Let's go back a little bit. See it again. Yep. See? So basically, they just sat there and opened fire into this car with these individuals in the car, not even knowing what the status of those individuals are. But again, ladies and gentlemen, the press conference you heard is a joke. That's not what happened. You can clearly see that. But let's watch the rest of the video and see how it transpires. Watch the dog! Watch the dog! Hey! Show your hands! 
Lethal that you can reach out and touch if need be. Get your less lethal for me. Hey, let's get a drone. Suspects in the vehicle. Hey, he's laced up. Where's my drone officer? He's laced up in there. He's not coming out of the car. Yeah, he ain't coming. He coming out. Yeah. Uh, we have a drone with you. Yeah, Mike. Hey. I'm closer to me. I'll keep going. Yeah. You think you got him pretty good? Yeah, actually, we, we shot the shit out of him. Okay. Like he shot three probably three at least 10 rounds. You think it's just him? Yes. They said that they were going to one in the car. So as we drones. as we approach, he has a short barrel rifle. As we were approaching, he was trying to get it up out of the uh, out of the seat. So it's still near him. Yes. He shot a lot. I shot like ten rounds into him. Yeah, his only car is only occupied one time. 
Let me grab my bonos out of here and see if I can put the eyeball closer to that. Say what? Say what? With it, you got your apprehension team. You guys take primary. Who's good? Yeah, we're good. If you can hold, try to pull him back this way if possible. Sorry, we got Bearcat on the way. Yeah, no, I'm saying we've got on the way. So if he comes out at all, right? You've got less? Yeah. All right. Stay lethal with Mike. Yeah. Hey, You see any movement in there? I haven't seen movement since we came back out. Yeah, I can see him. He was just kind of like barely moving as we were backing out. The suspect is hit a lot in the back and he's hitting the chest. As he's getting hit, he turned. He was trying to get that rifle up out of the front compartment towards us. In that car? One. Just one? Just him. All right, so very possibly he could be down? Yeah. Okay. Did we say we had drones? Consider he's armed yeah. and dangerous right now. Move forward with any. Uh, if we had drone, if, 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 if we had the drone coming All right. Up. Drone's right there. All right, drone's up. Let's see what drone's got. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Hold that. I got the trigger. Yeah. Hey, Joel. Hey, Joel. I shot. I shot. You did? Oh, nice. The palm tree that it's sitting against. I didn't see it there. Yeah, between the palm and that palm tree, you should be able to see him through that. Yeah, he's like, yeah, he's something Yeah, his back should be, his back was to us as we as we backed out. Right right there? Anyone else hurt that could right be part, now. Yeah, that could right, be him. Go to the back of this truck, so don't open that passenger door. I just threw it in the hot paint and we're finishing this up. Is he moving? Is he moving or is that from the drone? I think that, that's the drone's moving that's, the palm. Okay, okay, drone's down. Drone's down. Drone's down. Drone's down. Uh, where's the drone operator? Drone's looking down. Oh, oh, there's, another, there's another one. There's another one. Oh, yeah, one more. Who's operating that drone? Can I love Watch the prop, bro. Watch the prop. Do we think that's him right there? I don't think so. That's not where I saw him. Airbags. So he's somewhere back in there. I think you're right. The way that depth goes. Yeah, unless he's slumped in there. He didn't get over where he was. I had to like double take that rifle. I'm like, is he trying to get a fucking rifle? Huh? You all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was trying to set up a position with a rifle. He was trying to get the rifle up behind the cars. I had to like double take that rifle. I'm like, is he trying to get a fucking rifle? Right here, I don't take any exposure right now whatsoever. We want to put gas in there? We have gas in there. What do you say? Yeah. It needs to be like right here. Talk to me. Scooter, just for like sense of like he's he was looking for a gunfight as we were approaching the vehicle. As we got like my eyes were getting fixated to the dark of the car, he was trying to get a rifle up out of the front seat to point at us. Yep. So I engaged first. Okay. And then, yeah, yeah, and then we, we just yeah, took there. So you know he's still ready to fight. Okay. All right. Scooter, all uh, right, bear, bear, cat's rolling up, cat's rolling up. Right here, two more. All right. Hey, watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out. I see it. <laughs> hey, on the bear, let's try to make some announcements. Got it. Don't come in here. I do in my truck. He's got a very velocity on his right there. Hey, give Mike that spot if you don't mind. Where? No, we know you've been hurt. Put your hands up, crawl out. Can we see him? Yeah, so he's got... Oh, yeah, he's laid over right there between the seats. Yeah, you see his meat right there? 
Yeah, that, that's his knee. I saw my eyes got like fixed into the dark. Yeah. He was pulling the gun up out of the. Low, higher. So he was in a position to fight. Yeah. Oh, I see his. I see his. Okay. We can put something on top if you want to stand on something. Yeah. yeah, it's going to be underneath him. I got my nose in my car. Mike's got magnification on in the turret. TJ's got a fucking sniper right there. Yeah, the problem is TJ's here. We can't see through the woods. It's only bounds the one that shot. Ryan, I mean, the one on that entry. I know it's fixed there. We're at a low point. I'll just switch out. Just a second. All right. Good job, boys. Good job. If there's a hole to be filled, obviously, go ahead and do it. But. Y'all stay in the mission, just give those guys the priority for a second. Y'all stay in here, you're fine. Right now, turn off y'all's cameras. Going off, yep. Turn off y'all's cameras, turn off y'all's cameras.